Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay. I'm the founder of Treehouse Schoolhouse and I wanted to share today a little bit from my heart about why I created Treehouse Nature Study and I'm specifically going to be walking you through Treehouse Nature Study Spring. <music> released Treehouse Nature Study Autumn and Treehouse Nature Study Winter. And don't worry, by the end of 2022, we will have, or by the middle, we will have all four seasons developed and published, and we will actually be selling them um, in some sort of bundle, I'm sure, come this spring, early summer. So for now, we have those three seasons. And what I'm going to do today is just kind of share a little bit of an overview of the curriculum. And then I'm going to take you on a tour of the teacher's manual and also one full week of Treehouse Nature Study Spring. This video is for the purpose of just really letting you see if you think it would be a good fit for your family. And so I wanted to share another thing that you can do um, right away that would really help you decide if it's a good fit. And that would be to download the free week that we're offering. We are offering Caterpillars, Moths, and Butterflies Week, which is week five of Treehouse Nature Study Spring. We're offering it to our followers for free. So you can download it and you get the introduction to the curriculum, which is part of the teacher's manual, week five's lesson plans, and all of week five's student sheets so that you can go ahead and download those, print those at home, dive right in and decide if it would be a good fit for you. You can grab that below at the link. So the reason I created this curriculum is because I love bringing beauty and seasonal rhythms into our home. And for the longest time in our home education, I was piecing it together week by week. I would fall in love with, you know, in the autumn, I really wanted to do Autumn Fires um, by Robert Louis Stevenson, the poem. And so I decided we are going to study that poem. Well, wouldn't it be nice if we also had an art piece that week to study that, that uh, coordinated well with that poem. And so I would start digging around online and I would find an art piece to study and I would research the artist. Then I would start compiling book lists. And basically I developed this curriculum in my home slowly for my children and decided to package it in a nice way to be able to share with you. And so the idea of Treehouse Nature Study is it's covering your nature study, but it's covering so much more. You're using nature study as a catalyst to have beauty and goodness in your homeschool and connection and fun and joy through music and hand rhymes. The other big thing about this curriculum is that it is, it is intended for all of your children at the same time. And so that is why we personally um, love using it for our morning time, where my almost two-year-old all the way up to my eight-year-old is engaging with the elements of this curriculum in different ways, of course. And so what you'll see in Treehouse Nature Study is that I've included a ton of options for you to study and enjoy each nature theme so that, number one, you can use it from age two all the way up to 12, and the other big reason is so that you may use it over and over and over. When we go through Treehouse Nature Study again in the following years, we will go deeper. We will study more. We may grab reference books that are in the list that we didn't last time because my children are older and more ready for those things. And so this curriculum was really designed for you to use with all ages and year after year. So um, what you're going to find in Treehouse Nature Study is those beauty subjects like poetry, hand rhymes, folk songs, picture study, and then every day is an option for a way to connect with what you've been learning through hands-on experience. So that means a handcraft, a recipe, a project, an experience, um, a science experiment, or a nature walk activity, and then two days a week you're working through, on a Wednesdays and Thursdays, you're working through nature study notebooking. And if you're new to that concept, I have a whole guide in the introduction for you, and also ways to do nature study notebooking with preschoolers, early elementary, middle to upper elementary, and middle school. So there's really something for everyone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the camera around and show you inside the teacher's manual and take you on a little tour of one full week. 
So when you order Treehouse Nature Study, you have a couple of options. One is a hard copy, and when you get the hard copy, you're going to get a bound teacher's manual that looks like this, and then you'll also get loose student sheets. So I'm gonna take you through the hard copy. It has a table of contents here with the introduction and each of the 13 weeks. There's an about the author, and it breaks down each area of study, folk songs, hand rhymes, poetry. You'll notice that there are some links here. When you purchase the hard copy, you also get a digital copy. And in that digital copy, you can click on these links, and it will take you to our Spotify account with all of the folk songs and our YouTube channel here where you can find all of the hand rhymes. It shows you how to all about picture study, what the nature study book basket is about, the nature connection. And then here you're gonna see exactly how to prepare for Treehouse Nature Study Spring. I have a checklist for you. I have tips for using it for each different age and tips for using it with a co-op or nature group. If you're interested in using it for a co-op or nature group, we do have group licenses. The master book and materials list, there's a short book list that we use over and over and over and some materials that you will use over and over as well. Each week also has a book and material list. The nature study notebooking guide, which takes you step by step including tips for each level of learner. Your picture study guide with picture study starter questions and your curriculum calendar. The curriculum calendar is not a hard and fast rule. This is simply when I will be going through it and you can follow along on Instagram and when other followers are going to be possibly going through it. The only thing is we did line up rainbows for St. Patrick's Day week and spring equinox for the spring equinox. So each week you're going to have a lesson plan like this and I'm just going to show you one full lesson plan and then I'm going to take you through that same lesson in the student sheets. So we'll just do them actually all at the same time. So over here you're going to have the title of your folk song and with your folk song, you're going to have a sheet like this in the student sheets that have all of the lyrics. And you can see at the bottom, we have week one folk songs. So it makes it easier for organization. I like to slip these in my children's morning time menu and also display them on our chalkboard in our school area so that I can read along, sing along, and my children can sing along as well. You're going to have a hand rhyme that you can find linked on YouTube here, but I have a lyric sheet for each hand rhyme that has the lyrics and the description of how to do the hand rhyme so that you can lead your children in it. The YouTube video is really more for the parent to get an idea of how to do it, and then you teach it to your child. Next is the poem. And for the poem, we have the poem like this and also a poetry copy worksheet. Here in the nature study, oh, I'm sorry, the picture study looks like this. And in the nature study book basket, you're gonna have a fiction section, nonfiction and reference. For reference, you always have a selection from the Handbook of Nature Study and then some of the Nature Anatomy, Farm Anatomy, Food Anatomy series from Julia Rothman. And then I recommend the fiction books primarily to be used for the younger learners and the nonfiction books to be used for all ages, but specifically for the older learners as well. Nature, co nature Connection materials, you're going to have all the materials here that you need for one week and all the display sheets that are included. So then you're gonna come over here and see how I've laid this out to make it very easy for you to follow. On Monday, we're just gonna go through each day. It says folk song, click the link, sing the song with your display sheet, do the hand rhyme. And then each day for poetry and picture study, you have a different way to interact with the piece. So for the poem, 
On Monday, you're going to read it aloud. You're going to um, discuss any new vocabulary. And then for picture study, you're going to play hide and describe um, after you introduce the piece. And this is a simple game that is described in the introduction. The Nature Study Book Basket, I encourage you to read from each day. And then on Monday, you're going to plant a bean. And it says using plant a bean using the bean in a jar experiment sheet and record your observations for 10 days using the bean plant observation sheet. So you're gonna have these sheets included with week one and use the stages of germination sheet to help with drawings and to identify the stages. So this is included as well in week one. Every sheet that's included has a purpose for it and it's listed in your lesson plan. Dissect a bean for day two. Well, let's just go back up here. For poetry, the second day of the week, I encourage you to um, learn about the poet. And I wanted to mention that when you purchase Treehouse Nature Study Spring, this is the first season we've done this, but in the digital download, there are supplemental materials. And one of those things is a bio and a picture of each poet and artist so that you don't have to go digging on your own and doing that research. So you're going to read your poet's biography, you're going to locate their birth date on a timeline and where they're from on a map, just do a little bit digging into their life. For picture study, you're going to use some of the starter questions, those are also included in the introduction. And then on Tuesday, you're going to dissect a bean and it says to use a magnifying glass and the anatomy of a bean sheet to identify the parts. And then it also says to fill in the worksheet that is included. So that would be for Tuesday. For Wednesday, you are beginning your poetry copy work page as I shared. You're doing an artist study. And then Wednesday and Thursday, you're going to be doing your nature study notebooking. One day you draw pictures and one day you write the summary of your narration of what you've learned that week. And on Thursday, you're going to finish the copywork page. You're going to recite any of the poetry that they know from heart, that they're learning. Um, you're going to replicate a portion of the um, picture that you're studying. And then on Friday, they're going to draw or paint the poem, um, anything that they imagine from the poem. This is really fun. And they can write the title or the full poem on their page um, and then on Friday, you're going to play hide and describe again with your picture study and compare to your observations to Monday to see what you can retain. And on Friday here, I have a nature walk idea this week discussing seed dispersal, speculate how the seeds found their way to where you found them, collect them and investigate them by using um, a local field guide and books. So that is one full week of Treehouse Nature Study Spring. I hope that you found that helpful. Don't forget to download week five for free by clicking the link below. And always feel free to reach out via email or messaging if you have any further questions about our nature study. Mm -hmm.